Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this specific video, I will talk in detail regarding the popspec.yaml file. So without wasting time, let's get started. You might have observed along with every Flutter application, you will get a special file called a popspec.yaml file. Now what do you mean by this file? As the name suggests, the popspec indicates the pub, pub means library, spec means specification, means this is the file where you specify the pub that is the libraries used inside this project. Now YAML is actually the extension of this file. YAML basically stands for yet another markup language or the reverse acronym is YAML int markup language. Now inside your pubspec.yaml file, you won't find these two lines. This is the lines added by me. As a Flutter developer, we use this file only for two different purposes. The first one is to specify the assets that is the images, audio, video and the font used in the project. And second one to specify the libraries that is the dependencies that we have used inside the project. Before I start explaining the contents of this file, it is important to note that this particular file is case sensitive as well as the space sensitive. YAML is actually a serialization language which is very much similar to XML and JSON. In this YAML file, data is stored in the form of key and value pair. For example, we can say this name is like a key and the first underscore app is a kind of data for this key. The comments inside YAML file are specified using the hash symbol. Name property specifies the name of your application, which is actually the first underscore app in my case. Description specifies the description of your Flutter project. When we use none in case of publish underscore two, it means we don't want to publish this to your pub.dev. But consider you want to publish your project to pub.dev. In this case, we have to remove the specific line. Version property specifies the version and build number of your application. This is what the version of your application and whatever you write after the plus is called a build number. Version property is very important in case if you are planning to upload your project to the Play Store. Consider that I have uploaded a project to the Play Store. So in this case, I can have this particular version. But next time when I am updating my application and I want the updated project to be uploaded to the Play Store, in that case, I must have to update this particular version. The SDK property inside the environment property specifies the version of Dart SDK I am using for my project. All the dependencies and libraries that we want to use inside the project must be specified inside these dependencies or dev dependencies. Now what is actually a difference between dependencies and dev dependencies? For this I will create a separate videos in my upcoming sessions. Flutter lint specifies the lint version that we are using in the project. We can actually configure or specify the different lint rules inside a file called analysis underscore options dot yaml file, which is again a yaml file that you can find inside your project. Flutter is the main property inside which we have a property called uses material design true. It means in this project we are using the material design pattern. Whenever a property contains a single value, it has to be specified like this. But when a property contains multiple values in case of YAML file, it has to be specified using the dash along with the separate line of content or it can be placed inside the pair of square brackets. This asset properties is actually used to configure the assets that is the images, audio, video or PDF type of contents that we have used inside the project. Inside the Flutter property, we have the property called fonts using which we can specify the different type of fonts along with the font configurations. How to configure images and fonts in the Flutter project? For this, I will create the dedicated videos. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really like the way I am explaining the concept, then don't forget to like share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.